I am Stephanie and today I'm going to show you how to sculpt bugs from polymer clay. I feel like it's been a quite some time that I didn't made a tutorial for YouTube. Um, it's been about two weeks but since I almost made two per week at some point it kind of feels like a longer way than, than what it truly is. So today I am making a few bugs. Um, it's a fairly easy project. Um, it's it's just raw sculpting, and I used only white as I am working on a on a sculptural painting that is going to be monochrome. Um, I have started this one a month ago, but I finished another sculptural painting during April, so I didn't really get to work on that one. And and it's actually quite interesting because I, uh, if if you've been following my work so far, I uh, have been doing a lot of colorful sculptures, and I've always loved, and I still love, to sculpt with many colors and in a very colorful way. However, um, a few a few people actually pointed out I should try to do monochrome sculpting, and so I I did try it in white, and it came out um, really good, and it's it's actually opening me a few mind doors if that makes sense. I'm I might start to to try wood, wood carving. I'm not too sure yet. Um, I'm, I'm probably going to get a few tools, just just three tools actually, <laughs> because I want hand carving tools and they are pretty expensive. And, and I, I really want to try my hand on that. Um, I actually made one sculpture when I was feeling a bit sad one day. I used a block of wood that I had at home and a cutter and I was really careful not to, to cut myself. Usually in wood carving you apparently have a sort of hand glove that protects your hands, but I don't have any, so I, I was really careful, I didn't want to cut myself, and I didn't, so really proud of myself. And the wooden sculpture is actually pretty cool, so I'm just going to link down below um, the blog post I made about it. It's a very simple shape, obviously, uh, because using a cutter to carve is not the easiest thing to do. Um, but yeah, I, I really enjoyed it, and I, I don't know, I kind of feel like wood carving is something I want to, to try a little bit more extensively. Um, maybe in May. I'm going to be quite away in May. Um, yeah, I said May. That, that's German. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, fun fact. God, that's, that's not going to be that fun. But uh, the, the word, the month of May, um, it's almost the same in French and German. The pronunciation, not quite, but the, the writing. It's just with an I and not an Y. Anyway, so I'm going to be quite away um, in my so uh, there are not going to be a lot of videos on YouTube. I just didn't have the time to make a lot in advance um, because I was working on my art portfolio. And I'm going to be away for one uh, meeting a friend in Paris that is currently still living in Shanghai. And while I'm in Paris, I'm, um, I'm also staying at family, so I'm going to see those. And I'm finally going to, to go see some galleries and try to approach them. So that should be rather interesting and exciting. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm rather excited about it. Um, yeah, I hope it's going to be alright. I have new business cards. Um, my portfolio has 10 artworks. <laughs> Which sounds ridiculous, it's like not that much, but I feel that, um, yeah, those 10 artworks show pretty much what I'm trying to do and accomplish and also show some kind of progress and evolution. So, yeah, I feel rather confident um, showing it. I don't expect the galleries to love me and I don't want to be too pushy too pushy about it so uh, it's it's more about i really want to try to make a first approach and maybe ask if they if they accept um spontaneous applications of artists something like that and maybe t just randomly say 
um, that I'm an artist too. Yeah, and that should be fun. And also my grandma is going to have her birthday, so we are going to go uh, visit her and my family. And after that I'm going to, from Paris, my boyfriend is meeting me there, and we are going to go visit my grandma for a week, well, my grandma and my family. So I don't see them all too often. Um, so that, that should be nice. I will stay at my uncle's house for a few days. And my mom is coming from from Berlin as well to, to stay with us. So yeah, family. <laughs> family meetings. I hope, I hope everything is going to, to be alright. Um, I don't see why not. Um, yeah, and then, then we are back here. Uh, as my boyfriend is on holiday, but uh, we didn't plan anything, so we're just going to stay around um, where we live, since since it's kind of a holiday place anyway, it doesn't really matter. Probably going to go to the beach and just walk around. And I, <laughs> I mean, if I'm home, it also means that I'm most likely going to do some art as well. I cannot help it. Especially if I'm going to be away for two weeks without sculpting, um, it, it might be a little bit difficult for me. And I will probably be kind of needing to sculpt. Mm, yeah, I was talking about the wood carving before. I hope to find the tools I want in Paris. I found a shop that is specialized in, in wood, not carving, but wood sculptures, wo wood tools, stuff like that. And I really want to go there and then get some tools and hopefully I will be able to do some wood carving during my... Well, during May when I'm not, not at home. Which also means... I unfortunately don't draw a lot, or I don't really like to draw a lot, so unless I'm taking notes or stuff like that. So it's not really something that is, um, well, enough for me to, to occupy myself when I'm away. I really need to sculpt. I'm just, I'm just more of a sculptor than a, a painter or drawer, or dr yeah, there's a painter. I didn't talk much about the books today, but then I feel like the video is pretty much sure what I'm doing. Um, the tools I'm using, I made a video about all the tools I have and where you can get them. So I would invite you to check that out. Mm, yeah, and as I said, the sculpting is mostly visual, so... I used, um, as usual, I used Pinterest for reference pictures. Um, that really helps me a lot when I sculpt. And... And yeah, I just got inspired by a few bugs that I liked and I replicated the shape more or less. And I added some textures. Since I think this is quite important actually if you are working in just one color. Um, since there is no color, you have to you have to attract the eye with your sculpting skills so either way you can make it very detailed with lots of textures and lots of patterns etc or you make something that is very simple and extremely clean i feel like those are the the two options someone has when sculpting monochrome as you don't you don't have any colors to tell any story so I'm not really good at making very simple stuff. I tend to get lost in details really fast. No kidding. <laughs> um, so yeah, for me it's it's no brainer really. I really have to to add details over details and just make them work so they look realistic. Um, however, for some people it's much easier to actually do something that is very clean cut and very 
uh, almost abstract or minimalistic, so that's always an option. I always felt, but maybe that's just me, but I always felt that doing abstract sculpture is a lot more difficult because in a way you needed to to have just a few forms and shapes to tell a whole story whereas when you put hours of detailed work in it then there's no questioning what you are doing so i don't know i always thought it was a lot easier to do realistic sculpting and just a note on the legs um they're not really sturdy so um i i mean i would not play with the finished sculptures. I will use them, as I said before, in one of my sculptural paintings, so it's not much of an issue in my case. But if you are planning to, I don't know, make earrings or something like that out of them, or jewelry, or, or as I said, just play around with them, then I would highly recommend to, to sculpt the legs around wire, so to not break them. Otherwise, it's likely you are going to, to break them because they are really thin. And it's also because they are thin that they look good. So just take some very thin wire for that. Of course, it's going to be a bit more annoying to do, but hey, that's life. <laughs> it really depends what you want to do with it. I actually have a few other tutorials about bugs that explain how to coat wire with clay that might that you might find helpful. I'm just going to link those um, videos down below in the description box and in in the comment or something like that. So you don't have to search for hours for them on my huge channel. <laughs> Yeah, and we're actually arriving at the end, so yeah, um, I'm glad you, you came to watch this video. I very much hope you enjoyed watching it and listening to my ramble. I feel like this is what I prefer to do for YouTube, showing what I do, but just rambling about, about different stuff. Um, it was kind of personal today, but as I said, I. I feel like you need to know as May is not going to be f as you're not going to see a lot of videos in May and in any case thank you so much for watching I really hope you liked the video if you liked it give it a thumbs up maybe subscribe and I will see you in my next one bye mm -hmm.